welcome back to Fashion, Beauty, and Wine. I know it's been a long time. You guys are probably used to seeing me dressed up in these Halloween costumes, and I'm super, so, so, so excited to get back joining you all with my normal face. I'm super excited. So anyway, today is Wednesday, and we drink wine, and we have little chit-chats. Today, I'm drinking a Pinot Noir, and before we get into that, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of background of what we're talking about today. Now, I don't know if you all do this, but I catch myself sometimes at night after I finish watching my TV show, watching infomercials. Now, for the most part, I usually end up watching them because I'm too lazy to get up and get the remote, or I'm just, I just don't wanna turn the channel because once again, it goes all the way back to being lazy. I end up finding myself watching these infomercials and sometimes they are super enticing. Like sometimes I'm just like, okay, I want to get that. And usually my husband is sitting on the next couch and he's doing whatever he's doing, but he'll end up getting enticed into the videos. And then we will literally be on the verge of buying whatever it is on TV. So my husband being the person that he is, like he never buys anything without researching. One day before purchasing, I don't know what it was. I think it was like a mop or something. But anyway, one day before purchasing this mop, he was like, you know what? Before we purchase the mop, I know it's cheap or whatever. Let's read some reviews. And literally from that one time of reading reviews, like it's a joke between the two of us. Whenever we find ourselves watching infomercials, we always, always go online to read the reviews. And we don't read the reviews because we want to buy the product, but we read the reviews for a little cackle. I'm, I'm sure our neighbors are probably like, what the hell are they doing? Because usually it's like three or four o'clock in the morning. And we are laughing hysterically because of some of the reviews. So this is going to be kind of snowballing off of that idea. But today I am going to talk about some of these fashion brands that you see online you see them everywhere they pop up on instagram facebook twitter snapchat but they're those companies that are based in china and usually what they do is they go around and they steal photos from bloggers and then they will replicate whatever the blogger is wearing and then they will have these pictures posted on their website and then they'll also use these pictures for advertising. So you'll see the picture and you'll get enticed and a lot of people have been either scammed or ripped off whatever because they've been sucked in from these photos and then they end up buying these stuff. Now, the company that I'm gonna be talking about is called TB Dress. So if you wanna see what I came across, just keep watching the rest of the video. But before we get into it, let's chit chat about this wine. <laughs> This bottle is a 100% Pinot Noir Cuvée. The word Cuvée refers to the term superior. However, since the word is highly unregulated, the presence of the word Cuvée is no guarantee that it is of superior quality. Most wineries use the word Cuvée in reference to the wine being stored in a vat or tank at some stage of their production. This particular season of Pinot Noir exemplifies this flavor present tremendously. I chose this Pinot Noir because Pinots from this area are usually light, bright, with a nice balance of subtle oak and clean, crisp flavors of a still fermentation process. This particular batch is grape or grown within the cool microclimate of Sonoma Coast and select vineyards in the western portions of Caneros and the Pataluma Gap. The cool windy climates and low yields of these vineyards allow Pinot Noir grapes to mature slowly while retaining their natural acidity with bright flavors of red cherries, raspberries, and spice. Shook showcases the elegant side of this Pinot Noir by aging it in large neutral oak casks and older French oak barrels to keep new oak flavors to a minimum. I drank this wine on the first day and the spices and acidities were booming. After letting it breathe for a day or two, the wine opened up and I was able to taste the raspberries and floral notes and the wine was much more delicate. This wine pairs well with grilled fish or barbecue meats because of its lively acidic finish. This wine is 13.8% alcohol and retails for $25 pre-sale and $19.99 during sale. This can be purchased on the winemaker's website or in your local grocery store. So I was scrolling online and in order to come across these reviews, you literally have to pass up 
a lot of the reviews that the companies have done. Now, this these types of companies get, get so many bad reviews that they have a team of people that go out online and write reviews just so that those reviews can cover up the real reviews and they end up being fake. But in order to get to the real reviews, you kind of got to go down the list on Google and sift through all of the fake reviews. I came across a website called Pissed Off Consumer. And when I tell you this company got like one star and they probably wouldn't have had, like if they could have got zero stars, I'm, I believe they could have gotten zero stars. So anyway, let me just read some of the reviews that I came across, which I thought were super funny. So the first one goes, company responds only via email and it takes approximately two days to get a response. You only have 15 days to return the item. Okay, so each response has an excuse why they're not providing a return address. So just to let you know, a lot of customers have been complaining, like when they want to return something, the company is not providing a return address. And here's why. I was told, I was told to take the shoes that I ordered, which are too big, and have them altered. <laughs> Are you gonna alter shoes? <laughs> like, do you take them to the cleaners? Seamstress put darts in the front of the shoes just so you can fit them? <laughs> there is no documentation included with your items. And since customer service refuses, won't provide a return address, you are stuck with the items with no way of getting your money back. The only responses they provide are delay tactics and trying to talk you out of returning the items that you purchase. So the reason for that review was return, exchange, or cancellation policy. This person lost $65 and they were seeking a full refund. This person, one star, ordered five royal blue dresses, received four turquoise dresses, <laughs> And one white. I sent many emails to the company because I want to return all five dresses and to also cancel another item of two dresses not yet shipped. No response from the company. My husband is a lawyer, so he told me to reach out to you guys before we figure out our next course of action. Hope you all can help. I live in the States. So this woman ordered five blue dresses. Not only did she receive no blue dress, but she received one white. <laughs> oh. Next review. On October 11, one person says, I ordered a homecoming dress for my prom, receiving it. The dress did not fit properly in the upper part of the dress. This was not a special order or custom order dress. I sent two emails with no responses, so I had to contact customer service via an international call to get return address. I returned the dress in the 15 days, 100% satisfaction guarantee time frame, and received a $38 refund on a $111 dress. Nothing was altered on this dress. Tags and original, original packaging information was included in the return. This company does not honor its 100% satisfaction guarantee policy, and I would be very cautious ordering from them. So the monetary loss was $73. They preferred full refund. The dress was not sewn to match their size chart, so it was too big. So on October 11th, the user updated, received an email from TV Dress offering, the refund, offering to refund another $40 of the purchase price of $111. So if they refund this amount, I will have a refund total of $78. Still not the 100% guaranteed satisfaction, but at this point, I'm doing what they ask and updating my current review. This was part of the agreement in order to get the money I needed to retract my review. Still not very happy with business practices of this company. So then they responded, we are really sorry for in any inconvenience. Hope, hope you can understand that three item price is that the item price for three items is $151.98 equals, I don't even know what they're saying. Um, so they're basically saying that she's owed $53.36. If she deletes the review, they will give her the full refund, basically, is what they're saying. So 
So one person says, waste of time and money. I was promised to receive my goods within 15 days, including the processing dates, and still they do not deliver as promised. And when I send an email, they say it has been sent, only to find out that it is still in China. China crap it is. Each order show completed on the website and it is not even received. It did not even leave your country. We'll never advise anyone to shop there. Do not waste your time. If you do not understand English, I am pretty sure you better have a dictionary for that. <laughs> do not do business if you cannot read. <laughs> So this person, everything, capital letters, no joke. I'm telling you guys, sometimes these online reviews give me life. In the next video on Wind Down Wednesday, we're going to do some as seen on TV reviews. And that's when you really get the cackles, honestly. So I hope you all enjoy watching this video. If you found it informative, interesting, funny, or whatever. Don't forget to hit that little thumbs up button. Also, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, please take a moment to press that little subscribe button. As always, I am on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, all under keywords, fashion, beauty, and wine. In the spirit of Crystal T, I wish you all nothing but peace, love, fashion, beauty, and wine. Bye. <laughs>